All right, welcome back to episode number four. We are probably going to be entering like the home stretch here. This might be the last episode. Might have one more after that. We will see. But uh, yeah, going on our third date with Grace, and we are having a dinner date. So this one's going to be important that I don't fuck this one up. Grace, wow, you look, uh, you, you look amazing. Thank you. I have a little thing for headbands, and I only wear them on special occasions. So. Consider yourself lucky. Oh, listen, I do. Um, have you got your carbonara there? I do. I was waiting for you to taste test it, so I'm going to do it now. Ooh, it looks really good. Nice. Oh, my God. If I do say so myself, that is divine. Right, let's see yours. Let's see how I've done it. Okay, boom. Oh. That looks solid. Give it a that, that looks rough. <laughs> that does not look anything like hers. Yeah. It's solid. It's probably not like my standard, but it's edible. Oh, okay. bad choice of word. It's what we call it then. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, yeah. We'll go with that word instead. Yeah, no, I can eat this. Nice. Ooh. I don't know about you, but I can't wait to have a proper dinner date post lockdown. Yeah. Some nice food. Maybe some nice wine, some candles, a good movie, some ice mm. cream or dessert, something romantic before work. Out of me and you, who's cooking? Oh, I actually meant at a restaurant. Oh, sorry, my bad. No, but I prefer your suggestion. I guess either of us could cook, but um, what about after dinner? Oh, okay, so I've always loved an apple crumble after dinner. No, sorry. Sweetie, <laughs> sweetie. He, he's not... Would you... Make a move. For sure. Absolutely. Oh, oh, geez, Third oh, date, oh, dinner date? Uh, Absolutely. Uh, you know me. Yeah. I'd uh I'd take a moment and kiss you. You'd land right on my lips. Do you um do you have a rule of thumb of how far you'd go with someone the first time you really met? What do you mean by rule of thumb? Okay, which base? generally do you go to the first time you're familiar with the bases right first second third fourth yeah absolutely absolutely bases, yeah? um, very first time i don't think you take it the whole way you know what i'm saying a little bit more fun beyond kissing wouldn't you say yeah i'd be up for that yeah i guess it's just it's all about communication isn't it yeah exactly that's a good level for me okay i'm glad we're on the same page we're on the same page See, I'm, this is a wrap. Me and Grace meant to be. I have a question. Vinny rocking it. If this goes somewhere, what do you what do you like in a relationship? Uh, that's tricky for me to answer because isn't that best judged by the other person? True. Have you heard of the four attachment styles? Um, no, I can't. No. Okay, there are four attachment styles that define how we process love and emotion. And they are? So they're secure. That means you're comfortable and confident in a relationship and find it easy to get emotionally close. Okay. And then... Anxious and preoccupied. You're nervous about love being reciprocated. You want emotional intimacy, but you mm. never get it. Mm. Okay, that's yeah, that sounds, sounds awful. What the fuck? Dismiss avoidant. You're emotionally distant and not comfortable getting close to people. Okay, and the fourth is... Fearful avoidant. Dramatic and unpredictable. You want close emotional relationships, but you don't trust or depend on anyone. Okay, and so you want to know which one I am, yeah? That was, that's super easy. I'm definitely secure. Yes, yeah, yeah, absolutely. And some of them are definitely more compatible than others. So shoot. That was super okay. easy. Um, let me just think about those options. Um, think about it long and hard. I'd probably say I'm secure. Snap. Yeah, I'd say I'm pretty level-headed in the relationships in my life right now, and... I feel like I'm very available overall. Okay, so theoretically, if I went on a hen do with my girls abroad, would you would you feel paranoid if I went MIA for three years? No, 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 Grace. I trust you. I mean, a, a little bit of communication would be nice, but go and have fun. I mean, that's fair enough. And radio silence is just one kind. Yeah, no, I don't think it's cool to just completely cut the person off because you're with other people, but yeah. I agree. Um, so that was actually kind of a trick question. Trust you to throw me a curveball like that. Well, I think everyone can be all the attachment styles, depending on who they're with and how much they 
really like them. And their attachment styles? I think I used to be anxious, preoccupied. How come? Just every relationship I ever had made me feel that way. I guess high expectations makes you wonder if you're good enough, right? So you, what, you always felt like you had to prove yourself? Yeah, prove myself, sell myself, back myself, a whole lot. Did you ever feel like you had to oversell yourself? No, never. Sorry, I didn't realise I was opening up this much. No, no, this is great. This is the thing about digital dating. It just it, it makes you open up. I don't know why. I know, because there are no real life distractions to fall back on. I, no, I, I have to say, I'm glad. I am glad though. You know, I feel like I've really been able to get to know you. Me too, and I'd like to continue, but I, I kind of feel like we've outgrown the dating. Facts. Um, we should probably exchange numbers. Absolutely. Wait, what the fuck happened? Oh, oh yeah. shit. Don't hold for doing this. Yeah, I'm actually quite good at showing. Um, forgive me if I fall asleep in this video. Oh, well, that's alright. I'm actually curious to see if you snore. Snore? No, I don't snore. You look like you think I snore. No, I don't. How do, what do you mean I look like I think you snore? You've just got something about you. I, I, I bet you do snore because you're telling me I snore. You're the one that's probably in denial about that. No, I'm not. But that people do have weird habits in bed. Please don't tell me you have any weird habits. What do you mean weird habits? I don't have any weird habits in bed. I get into bed. I get in the deep end. I just sleep. Oh, and that's a problem. I'm very... I move <laughs> a lot. I'm very... I mean, I can't... Let's go, Vinny. That's it? That's it? Am I just... So I'm just dating Grace now? That's it? Uh, I'm, I'm gonna respectfully skip the credits. Yo. <laughs> I only gave you three, I mean. Wow, there's a lot of scenes in this game. Well, I got an achievement. Damn, bro, that fucking music is crazy. Um, I did get an achievement. Uh, third date with Grace was a success. 26.4% of players got that achievement. So, I guess, uh, I guess it's pretty even. It's not a straight 20%, but it seems like... Let me see. Let me just look at all the achievements. So, Maya is 33.7. Saffron's 27.4. Paige is 24.2. And then the... The girl with the kid is 14.8. Yet nobody wanted the... The, the kid... Uh, I did see a couple spoilers to some of the other ways that things go, but yeah, I don't know if I'll continue this one. I'm not really interested in even like entertaining the other ones and I don't want to just like lie constantly to uh, Saffron just to see how that would go because it just doesn't feel natural, but yeah, um, that was fun. That was fun. I think the uh, the way that the dating shows nowadays, like Love is Blind and all the Netflix ones, they definitely know how to spice it up with some drama. Really wasn't any drama. Like, it was pretty cut and dry with uh, the decision making and, and all that shit. So, yeah, if you enjoyed, uh, I'm probably... I, I think I have a few more of these Whales Interactive games in my library, so I'll probably play them at some point. But I think... Was this episode four? I think it's taken me about four episodes to get through one of these games. So, um, you know, definitely not like a lot of content if you don't intend to replay it. But um, yeah, I mean, I'm, I've been enjoying it. Did I get, I think I paid like $3 for this game. So, I mean, full price is like 15. It's definitely not worth that. But three bucks, yeah, I got my $3 out of it for sure. So uh, leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you in the next game we play. I'm out.